Okay. Okay. Louisiana and Texas. Texas is an eight and a half point favorite here. And this is going back to that same theory, right? Now, Louisiana absolutely hammered, hammered Iowa State last year in their opening game. And Iowa State, of course, went on to uh, play in the Big 12 title game, won the Fiesta Bowl. They beat up on Oregon, all that good stuff. Texas, I the matchup that I am looking at here is the offensive line for Louisiana against the defensive line for Texas. And Texas is gargantuan. I There's a lot of people that are all over Louisiana. They think Billy Napier is going to win this game, all this good stuff. I don't think Louisiana is going to be able to run the ball. And Levi Lewis is not a great passing quarterback. I I got a lot of faith in Hudson Card. Like, I'm riding the favorite. I'm riding Texas here. And I, I think they win by double digits at home because I, I trust Steve Sarkeesian to be able to put together a game plan to win this. And he understands. Like, you have the better players. You are at home. This is a, a Sun Belt team that you should beat, and it will be embarrassing in your first loss. You don't want to repeat what Tom Herman did. I I'm on Texas here. I like Texas minus the eight and a half. Yeah, I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of big on this one. Now, do I trust them enough to to make it an official play over at BetUS? No. But but I do like Texas in the spot. I think they've got a, a big time advantage uh, at the line of scrimmage. Well, I made this an official play in my opinion. Okay, I like Louisiana. I like Billy Napier. I think I got the better uh, coach Coach. football team. I think I've got the more experienced team. Yeah. I I also have another coach on the other side that understands there's a level of desperation here. And this is what I like about Louisiana is I actually got a little on the money line, but that don't matter. If you've got eight and a half or nine and a half, you can get it some places. I'm, I'm telling you, Texas just wants to get out of this game with a win, all right? Would they love to beat the hell out of them and make all his boosters happy by, by, by you know, covering a line for them? Sure. But he just wants a W, okay? He just wants to get off on the right foot. And I think this is going to be one of the hardest fought games Texas is going to have all year long. I oh, really I, I agree that. with that. I, I do I agree. Really, It'll really be hard believe fought. that. I do think, like, for me, I think there's such a big advantage at the line of scrimmage that – Texas will be able to to run a lot of things that but Texas has a big advantage at the line of scrimmage all the time against hey, you're right all the time and guess what they lose a lot of those games this is true this is true thanks for listening to the winning cures everything podcast the website is winning cures everything.com and if you want to connect with us we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and at winning cures or you can email us Gary at winning cures everything.com or Chris at winning cures everything.com Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.